Hi everyone, my name's Kate, um, aka Tinderella, and I wanted to come live right now because everybody has just inspired me so, so much. I can't, um, I can't actually say that I'm going to get through this live without crying, um, but um, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to Eric and all the team, everybody that's made this happen. And I have bought my ticket and I will be on the GoPro live. So um, I just wanted to share a little bit about me and my journey has been, um, is, has been pretty wild so far. Um, I started my, my journey three years ago now when I came to, I escaped a domestic violence situation and I actually came to Melbourne with my little boy who was 11 months old and the shirts on our back. Now, we just basically got in the car one day and we ran and we never looked back. And that's probably one of my proudest moments. Um, and if there's, if there's anybody ever going through the same thing, I tell you, I say get up and get out and keep going because there's better things out there for you. Um, and this, this journey of life um, has given me so much so much more than life, so much more than self, um, self-belief. And I think that it's one of the biggest journeys I've ever been on in my life. Um, and I'm here to say that, you know, never give up on your dreams and your goals. Um, because when we, when we came to Melbourne, I, um, I didn't have, I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't know where I was going to go and I didn't know how I was actually going to make an income because I was always the breadwinner. I was always the breadwinner, always the the top income earner. Um, sorry, I can't even believe I'm crying. <laughs> I'm just so inspired by everyone. Um, I'm just going to keep going. Um, and when I had that income stripped away from me, um, my self-independence, my self-value, everything that I'd built, everything that I stood for, everything that I'd, 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 I'd got on my own, it was taken away. So I needed to find a way that was actually going to change my situation. I didn't want to sit there and wallow in my sorrows. I didn't want to put, you know, poor pity me. I didn't want to say, you know, oh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to sit here and moan about life. I was given, I was given an opportunity that somebody believed in me somebody said to me I have something that you might be able to change your life with how about you do a little post on social media and see how you go my girlfriend believed in me and she knew that I could do something I could make something of my life um, and I did it and that first post that I did on social media earned me $250 from one post one post and one product um, and at that time, I'd, I'd had to put my, my, my little boy was in daycare. So my little boy was actually diagnosed with autism at, um, at two years old. So that was, you know, it was, it was a really, really tough time. And I couldn't go to work because every time I was dropping him off, he was crying. Every time I was picking him up, he was crying. He couldn't cope. I couldn't cope. There had to be another way. There had to be another way. So when I did this post and I earned this $250, and believe me, at this time, I was earning $200 a fortnight because I wasn't an Australian resident. I didn't have access to any funds. I was living in a girlfriend's shed that was a converted shed that was, um, you know, that was, it, was, it was somewhere to be. It was somewhere to live. We were safe. We had somewhere safe to be. Um, so when this happened, I saw a chance of life I saw a chance of an opportunity where I could make something of myself I could actually change my life so what I did was I worked out how many products did I have to sell to not go to work anymore to not go to cleaning my cleaning job to not go to the to the cafe where I was serving coffees for $20 an hour those are the things that I was doing to make ends meet now I stood up and I said to myself, how many products do I have to sell to not do this anymore? And do you know what the answer was? Six. Six products. So I went home, I made a plan, I got my pen, I got my paper, and I wrote down what I needed to do to earn $500 a week. 
because that $500 a week was going to give me rent, was going to give me fuel in my car, was going to give me food on the table, was going to give me nappies on my little boy. Those are the things I needed. $500 a week. So if you can hear my little boy in the background. Sorry, I'm shaking. I'm so nervous. And I'm usually live, like, all the time. But I just want to say to, you know, if anybody out there is saying, you know, I can't do this, you know, this is like, you know, this is too hard. It's really not. You have to have something that drives you. And if that drive is so strong, then you will not give up. I changed my life with this business. And believe me, network marketing has now changed hundreds and hundreds and thousands of women that I am now connected to. I lead this business with my story. I lead this business with my passion. I lead this business with the fact that it changed my life from earning $250. I will never, ever forget that one moment that changed my life. And I'm saying to you now, don't ever let anybody tell you that you can't have it all. Because believe me, I am living proof that you can. And if anybody dare take that away from you, then you know that you have the power to keep going. And what this did for me was it gave me financial abundance. And now we are in a position where we are buying our first home. I have security. I'm hopefully setting my dad financially free. I'm doing things with this business that are changing people's lives. There are people sat at home not knowing what to do where this COVID is hit. This COVID has just completely crushed people. Make this an opportunity and share this with your heart. A very, very amazing man once said to me, Tom Chenault, that went live in this group, he said... Fire your head, hire your heart. Lead your business with your heart. Nothing else. Tell your story. Have passion and have consistency and keep going because you can have it all. Thanks for listening. I'm sorry, I'm so emotional. <laughs> I'm, I can't wait for the next speaker. I love you all and thanks for listening. Keep going. You can do it.